All right, Shalom. Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakhachodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like Akim, Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Another the video to the Spirit. And for this one, uh, I'm going to be having to correct this guy. Now, this is a guy who came up, you know, the past camp day to the brothers down there in LA. Uh, and he, he was a northern kingdom. He was an Israelite, Gadite. You know, he, he knew he was an Israelite. He knew certain things, you know, correctly, but he was off on a handful of things, a handful of important things. And the, one of the facts that he was off on was who the whore was. He is under the impression, or was under the impression, until the brothers broke it down to him, you know, now whether or not he fully understands it <coughs> is up to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. But he was under the impression that the state of Israel is the whore that rides upon the beast and that's incorrect so this is going to be a real quick video clearing that up because that's simply incorrect but the thing about it you know all the events that's going on in the world right now I wasn't halfway mad at him because if you were uh, you know let's say you were first waking up right or you know uh, if you were looking out in the world you would look and see that those Amalekites right now are pulling a lot of strings so if you didn't know no better, you, you could easily be beguiled into thinking that the state of Israel is the whore that rides upon the beast. But when you take a look at history and you dig into these scriptures, you'll come to the realization that it is not. Uh, now, those people over there are Amalekites and they are Edom. And that land, that state currently is mentioned in the scriptures to get destroyed. But it is separate, separate from Babylon the Great uh, 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 was a mystery mystery Babylon the Great the mother of harlots and uh, all the abominations of the earth that there are two separate entities although Amalekites are using that spot as a branch to rule from it is not the whore okay first off the state of Israel didn't come around until 1948 we've been slaves here in America way before 1948 and that's just one of the main that's just off rip you know we, we uh, a kingdom put us into captivity way before 1948 so let me actually let him talk so you can hear it and then we're going to get the scriptures so you can know that america is the whore that rides upon the beast okay what is the beast eu nato okay but it began as 10 countries all right those 10 horns right it began as uh the 10 countries the uh of the uh the european economic community which has now evolved into you know a shit ton, right? So let's let it play. You know, over 20 some countries now are involved. But let's let's go. And they want to completely make us forget who we are. Like, if you notice, all these so-called Jewish people, they own everything. Israel has more power than the United States of America. The United States is mystery Babylon. Israel is a woman riding the beast. No, America's the one that rides. <laughs> you see, brother was like, no, you know, no. All right. America is both those entities, the War Upon the Beast and Mystery Babylon, all right? As a matter of fact, those are two different chapters, you know. Uh, uh, you know, the Beast and all that is 17, and then, you know, 18 at the top, you know, Mystery Babylon. Those are two different chapters, so he's simply just getting confused, or, well, you know, whatever the hell. So you see, you know, he, you know, basically if I was to keep playing the video, the brothers break it down, you know, but I'm going to go to scriptures now. So let's, let's start with this. Let's start with the fact of where did this creature originate from? One of the things when you read the scriptures and, you know, when the spirit is dealing with you, you get the breakdown from the elders, apostles and different brothers on down. America is that eighth head. Okay. The state of Israel is not that eighth head. You can't you can't try to stuff them in there. This is this is going to be Revelation 17, 
I want to start at, oh shit, he busts his turn. I want to start at, this is Revelation 17. I want to start at, uh, okay, verse, let me see. Let's start right at 10, yeah. Um, Revelation 17 and, you know what, slot it, y'all. Okay, we'll, we're going to start at 1, then we'll jump down. Slock it. Got to. Revelation 17, 1, it says, And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunken with the wine of her fornication. And now, hey, that right there, America has affected the world with what westernization what language is being spoken around the world english what type of clothes are being worn around the world american standard clothes we're not all running around speaking hebrew we're not all running around keeping the tour what are what do you see in the world uh, uh the world is adopting sexual inordinate affections from who america the world is, is adopting uh you know you have hollywood in america what do you have in india bollywood Okay, you don't see the world conforming to the image of the state of Israel. You see the world conforming to America's standard. It's police system around the world. Lawyers, uh, 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 firefighters. Where'd that all come out from? Okay, the very way the streets are designed. Look at Japan. Japan looks like New York City. It doesn't look like Jerusalem. Okay, so the nations have been... Let me get that out of... Uh, get that out of Jeremiah... The nations, although they are mad at the state of Israel, but they are not, that's not the land who made, uh, whom the other nations made deal with, made deals with to gain power. Drunken. We're going to go Jeremiah 51. Yep. Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon uh, hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. That made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore the nations are mad. So once again, Babylon, you have to remember, is a nation that all nations have to deal with on this earth. And are starting to be infected by its philosophies and image. We're not being infected with... We're not running around speaking... Uh, speaking... Um, what's that word? Uh, Yiddish, right? Or we're not... We're not walking around with garments on you got levi's and nikes on <laughs> so going back to revelation 17 okay so the nations are drunken with the philosophies of babylon which is america verse 3 so he carried me away in the spirit in the wilderness and i saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand Full of abominations and filthiness and fornication. So we see that this uh, woman is sitting upon seven heads. And how many horns? Ten horns. What are those seven heads? Uh, as you should know, if you are a diligent student here at Great Millstone, what are the seven heads? All right, a hey, Germania Major and Minor, uh, Greece and Rome, France, Sp uh, Spain, and Britain right the ten horns as stated uh the eec european economic community all right which evolved into uh eu nato as we have today the state of israel wasn't even around yet when all this was happening so that's one way that we know that it's not them the state of israel wasn't around when um you know, EU NATO was in formation, right? When when America was ascending its way into power, when those, uh, you know, after the con uh, conquistadors got over here, did all their slaughtering and whatnot, they set up America. They didn't. They didn't set up the state of Israel. So don't get confused. You know, don't let everything that's going on in the media confuse you right now. Okay. And we see that uh, also this place, 
has gotten you know wealth and riches by way of its fornication you know influence in the world therefore these people are cutting deals at this place all right now let me go down now okay so yeah i'm, I'm uh I, I did just want to get the actual date uh uh they have 19 uh uh 57 uh, which we know you know 19 uh 58 dealing with the prophecy um uh in revelation all right now this was comprised tells you what they say uh, march 25 uh, march 25th 1957 uh in belgium this went on to become uh matter of fact right there it's called the treaty of rome <laughs> it's not called the treaty of uh israel but now right here you scroll down it just tells you why did eec change to eu Apparently, this happened in 1993. Says the EEC was renamed the European Community to reflect that it covered a wider range than economic policy. So they changed the name up a bit, so it, to make it seem like it's not just about money. Now, the Land of Israel came about in 48, but they weren't, you know, they aren't one of the ten heads that are mentioned here. Right here, what were the the ten countries? of uh eec it says the eec was created in 1957 by the treaty of rome which uh was signed by belgium france italy luxembourg the netherlands and west germany it says the united kingdom denmark and ireland joined in 1973 followed by greece and portugal and spain in 1986 so right there literally you don't see the 48ers as a part of this okay so you you know you you, you got to follow the breadcrumb trail so let's come back verse 10 Revelation 17 and 10. And, you know, this ain't, hey, this ain't, you know, if you was looking for some entertainment, this ain't the lesson. This is, we got to get shit, shit straightened out. You can't be running around saying that, the, I'm going to call it from now on the uh, SOI, so they don't take the video. State of Israel, the SOI. You can't be running around saying the SOI is a whore on the beast. That's improper. Okay. Revelation 17 and 10, it says, And there are seven kings, five are fallen, and one is, and the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. What was that? What are the seven? All right, the seven heads I mentioned. Who were the five that were fallen? All right, by then already, uh, you know, Greece had already fell, uh, France, uh, uh, the ancient land where they're at, uh, uh Gaul, right? Uh, uh, it says what, and, and one is, and the other is not yet come. The one that is was Rome. You know, Rome was in power as the other ones were down. Uh, this is in the time of John the Revelator. You know, he was under, he was alive as the Roman Empire was up. That's the one that is. It says the other is not yet come. And when he cometh, he must continue a short space. What was the one still to come? Great Britain. How do we know that? Now, when you look in prophecy, what happened to Esau that caused him to fall? And when, when he arose, where did he rise up from? Revelation 20. You got to pick up the breadcrumbs. Okay, Revelation 20 and 2. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years sh should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. So as we know, this is a prophecy of Esau Edom going down for a thousand years, the time period known as what? The Dark Ages. Okay, so this is when, you know, that fifth one, uh, uh, Slaki, it says, uh, not the fifth one. This was that sixth one. Rome was that sixth one. Okay, what was one of the kingdoms that would go on to get built when this man came back into power? Great Britain, the seventh one. Okay, and who came out of the seventh head? What, what, what you know, you use. What is the name of the war that separated America from the motherfuckers who came over here? The Revolutionary uh, War. Who did they separate from? Britain. Okay, they didn't separate from the SOI. They separated from Britain. Why? You go back, Revelation 17 and uh, 11. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seven and goeth into perdition. So, hey, that's how you, you know, you got to use process of elimination. America came out as that eighth. Who did America descend from? 
Great Britain, which is what? The seventh. This And this Great Britain rose up, you know, uh, after Esau started getting back into power after the Dark Ages. So once again, another quick trip to Google. Who did America gain independence from? On July 2nd, 1776, the Congress voted to declare independence from England. After two days of debate and some changes to the document, the Congress voted to accept the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. This action represented a formal separation of the American colonies from Great Britain. You know, a real quick trip to Google. You don't see this occur. America didn't separate itself from the SOI. Okay? And after that country separated itself, what would it go on to do? Verse 10, it says, In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh, EU NATO, which began as the EEC, which have received no kingdom as of yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast. What's that one hour with the beast? Uh, approximately 42 years, right? Which is where you get from uh, 1958 to the year 2000. And this man, uh, you know, hey, hey, like Elder, Yashu, uh, Elder Yashuwambo always says, you know, America ain't been shit, you know, since like 04. You know, hey, America then lost its savor with the world after the two thousands. You know, the 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 um, what do you call it? The gig is up. You know, the, the nations are are ready to go now. They're ready to go war, go to war. All right, verse twelve again. It says, "And the ten horns which thou sawest are the ten kings, as we read earlier. Those nations that I got set up in fifty seven, all right slash fifty eight, which has received a kingdom, have, which have received no kingdom as yet." So see those kingdom, those countries, they weren't ruling solely by themselves. They had to unite themselves because they're not as strong. It says, but receive power as kings one hour with the beast. So who was the basis for that power? America. That's who they had to ally themselves with. They didn't uh, run. They didn't run over to the SOI to get that power. Okay, verse thirteen. These have one mind and shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Right there. Those nations didn't make their mind with the SOI. They made their mind and gave their power to America. Okay. And another scripture you read. Um, let me see. And there's, there's there's many, you know, just many different little things we can go to to know that that whore is America, not the SOI. Right. You know, this ain't, you know, I, I'm just attacking a couple angles that come to mind. When you go to Revelation 13, this is where you 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 see uh, you have two beasts described here, here in the one through five. And then you have another beast here in um, verse 11. Uh, this first beast right here is a conglomerate of Edomite nations. This beast here in verse 11 is America. But I want to get focusing in on America versus 13. We'll go down. So Revelation, a slack here, Revelation 13, 11. And I beheld another beast come up out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. Does the SOI have a two-party system? Right? Does, does, does the SOI have the Democrats and the Republicans? You know, the, the, the two wings on the same bird? Uh, speaking as a lamb, you know, pretending to be for the benefit of the people, but oppressing you cruelly. All right? And, uh, and he spake as a dragon. You know, draconian laws. Verse 12, and he exercises all the power of the first beast before him and causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. Once again, which country is making you, is making the world worship and uphold, uphold Roman customs? Are we learning these, this way of life from the SOI or have we learned it from the westernization of America, Babylon? You know, e easy to answer. Verse 13. And he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. And that's what really seals the deal. What country first shot down a bomb and devastated the world? Was it the SOI? No. Who was it? America. Who did they shoot it on? Uh, Japan. All right. Uh, was it Fat Boy? And, uh, was it Fat Boy and Little Man? Or am I getting mixed up? Uh, uh, no. Yeah. Fat Boy and Little Man. Yep. The two bombs, uh, uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. You know, so once again, all you got to do is connect the dots. All you got to do is connect the dots. Now, like I said, 
all the stuff that's going on in the world, I could see why somebody might accidentally make that conclusion, but it's an accident and it's and it's incorrect. So you got to keep it. You got to get it correct. They own everything. They own everything. It's that power structure. Yes. And you got. So he, you, so he, he, see, he got that from some church guy, you know. So and the, and the brothers was breaking it down, you know. The brothers went to the three uh, unclean, unclean spirits, uh, you know, went in the EU NATO, the beast, right? So the brothers broke it down to him, but you, you can see clearly, you know, he's still, you know, persuading his own mind or whatever. But you know, that was about it, y'all. I just wanted to address this and let y'all know. Apparently, this is a thing now, you know. So if, if somebody runs up with that, you know, combat it. Don't let them slide with that. Okay, America is the whore upon the beast, not the SOI. All right, so I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, for Chakurash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all like the Akim Wa Akwath, learning and teaching in truth and sincerity. Shalom.